Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And the band conditions this afternoon have been tremendously bad. Yeah, I mean bad. I tried a couple of different radios to see if there was something wrong with my radio or my antennas or whatever. And it was just bad. I am getting on this radio, this is the Realistic DX200. And surprisingly enough, this particular radio does a great job of reception. Now the selectivity is not that great, so you kind of really have to tune the uh, band spread down here very carefully. Um, apparently the previous owner of this radio, I got it, I think I got this off the internet, uh, off of eBay, but they apparently replaced the lamps behind these dials and, and they are bright. They, kinda, they really uh, really stand out there. You can't really read the dials. They're so bright. I mean, I can read them, but the camera's not picking them up very well. Matter of fact, let me see if I can zoom in on those dials a little bit. Yeah, the camera's just not adjusting itself for that bright light compared to the rest of the room. See if I zoom in as far as I can, see if it'll adjust. Nah, it doesn't. Nah. I'd have to manually tweak it, which I can't do when I start the video. But anyway, my point is, it's got a, uh, let me zoom in on that. Oh my gosh. Look at this S meter. It's almost pegged. Now, not all that signal. Let me, um. Let me tune off that signal I got, which is um, uh, the Preacher Man's channel, which is all over the band. And I can usually get him perfectly clear, just like it was a local AM station in the afternoon, but boy, there's a lot of noise. See that noise? Now let me tune off of that station. There's the noise level. I'm uh, still on a station. Let me... There, there's no station there that I can hear. And the S meter is on this radio is about two or three over nine. Two or three units past nine. S nine. That's noise. And I've tried other antennas. It doesn't help. Right now, let me turn this down. Right now. I got this radio hooked to my best antenna that's in my workshop. Now, it is a vertical antenna, and there's pros and cons whether when you have noisy conditions, vertical is better than horizontal. I don't know. But I've tried, like I said before, uh, before I started recording, I tried uh, the... DX394, which has a dipole connected to it. I tried, no I correction, it's got an infed connected to it. I tried my ICOM 706, which is, has a dipole connected to it. All of them have this noise. Now, I looked on, and we stand by, I'm going to swing the camera around here. I looked on, and let me get this screen out of the way. I click on this website, which gives you a visual representation, representation of band conditions and uh, in the United States, this is. And at the various meter bands, of which, and we'll find something to point with here. I just updated. It updates, I don't know how often, but it updates quite often. Uh, there's a 30 meter band, which is close to where I'm at. And... It just changed. Holy cow. I can't believe this. When I started recording, the indicator was down here in the red. In this last update, it's jumped up to the green, which says band conditions that are improved. No one there went back down. What the heck is going on here? I can't tell where I'm pointing the camera. Um, now it's jumped back down. See, it is, it's way down here in the red again. Let me get my camera up to see where I'm pointing. 
Oh, not, I'm not putting very good. Okay, let me try it now. Get this out of the way. There. So, a few seconds ago, on 30 meters, the indicator was in the green. Good. This is continental. Oops. Now it changed. It's right in the yellow. Boy, it's bouncing around. Now what's causing that? So, let's see if uh, the radio is receiving any better. Let me get this. To set back up again. Try to get it set back up. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, let's turn the radio volume back up and try to tune in that station again. Yeah, it's coming in better. There's a couple of them. This is just below 10 megahertz. Where did the That's a Spanish program. Just below that. That's Spanish also. There it is. That's the station I was listening to originally. The S meter is almost pegged on this radio. Of course, all S meters are just an indication. They're not very accurate. But this is the uh, this is the Overcomer radio on 9.980. And like I say, normally in the afternoon, that thing is clear as a bell. But, woo, it is. The noise level is so high. Oh, um, the time, uh, I gotta tell you at least three things when I do this. I gotta tell you the time of day, um, the antenna I'm using, and the radio I'm using. Okay, the radio I'm using is a realistic DX200. This particular radio, this one right here, um, works excellent. I assume the guy that owned it previously, like I see, I got it off of eBay had tuned it up. I mean, it looks immaculate. It looks brand new. And, it, as I said before, the dial lights are really bright, so I think he replaced those. And it receives really well. And it's old school, so you got to turn the knobs. There's no push buttons or anything. And um, I'm using, on this radio right now, I'm using the MFJ 31-foot vertical antenna. And the time of day is 3.30 p.m. in Clearwater, Florida. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to receive stations. Look at that S meter. It's just pegged. And that's not because of the signal strength. Let me turn the volume back up for a second. Noise. And... And typically, in my workshop, as far as radio reception, I'm, it's pretty good. And I'm using coax cable to bring this signals in from the antenna, so I shouldn't have all that noise. Um, let me try turning a few things off. Let me turn some lights off. Uh, let me turn the volume up so you can see if there's any changes. No. Those were uh, fluorescent lights I was turning off to see if they had any problems causing interference. Let me turn my monitor off for a second. No. Nope. So it's not any interference that I can find in this room. I mean, there might be something else because I've got a dozen things on in this room. But I typically, like I said, don't have this kind of noise level in this room. So, boy, I'm not going to be able to do any shortwave listening today 
And uh, if that website I showed you, which is, uh, boy, it's got a strange name. I can't even pronounce. I mean, I can't, it's, like, it's like half a page long is the name of the website. So I'm not going to try to tell you. If you do a search on uh, HF band conditions, this is one of the, and I did a show on this one. Uh, it's just another relative indicator, not, you know, 100%, just relative. I want to take a look at it real quick before I stop the show and see what it's indicating right this minute. Right now, it is on the 30-meter band close to where I'm at. It's in the red. The only thing that is not in the red is the 40-meter band. So let's... Uh, we can tune down real quick to the 40 meter band and see what's going on down there. Uh, let's see. Uh, 40 meters is down here. Let me turn the volume back up. And went the wrong way. Whoop. Okay, there's a ham on 40 meters. Uh, single side band. This has single side band. <laughs> hey, would you believe? I think that's my neighbor down the street. Uh, maybe not, but... <laughs> He's not a ham, he's a sea beer, but he gets on the ham bands and he's pegging the meter, so I think that might be him. A lot of times I receive him on my computer uh, speakers when they're not even on. Well, when the speakers are on, no, when the speakers are not on, even on, I get him. He's so strong, he's running a big beam antenna, all kinds of power. No, that band's pretty bad too. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to show you that you know, sometimes shortwave conditions are not too good. Not too good today. What's, um, shall I say, interesting is if I go back over here to my monitor, um, those indicators are changing. They change, I think, every maybe every 15 seconds or every 30 seconds. And they change quite a bit. Now we've got 40 meters is in the yellow. 30 meters is in yellow, which has been in the red. And everything is in the red. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll, I'll put the, um, the web address of this website. Oh, just updated. Uh, in the description below this video. I, it's too long to spell it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I don't have enough hands here. Sorry for the jumpiness. And we're going to stop.